Hi everybody, this is Bilal Ahmed and uh, today you are going to learn from unit 2 how can we change the shapes, okay? So as you know, this is the unit 2, okay? You are going to learn the forces and movements, right? And this is the topic 2.2. Means this is the second topic in the unit two, right? And what is the topic name? Changing shapes. Okay. Okay. In the previous uh, lesson, we learned about the forces. Okay. So, how many forces? There are two forces push and pull. Keep remember. When you things move away from you, we have to say push. And when the things towards you, you have to say pull, right? So you can uh, watch the previous video to changing. How can we change the shapes? So, here today we're gonna learn how force help us to uh, make the shapes change okay so as you guys can see uh, this uh, toy has been changed okay by twisting uh, your fingers okay and uh, squashing and stretching okay so you can change the shapes by uh, pushing the uh, toy, right? Okay, now guys, look at uh, the three pictures right on the screen. So look how forces can change the shapes, okay? So here are three pictures that shows, that shows us how, uh, how force have make the things change the shapes okay now look at this <clears throat> uh, force okay so here he is using force to make the bread okay he is pushing the dough okay he is pushing the dough and make the bread so without force, he could not able to make the bread. So he need push force, push the dough and make the bread. Now look at this <clears throat> mud, okay? This man is using force from the hand to make pot, okay? Look at this picture. This is the wood, this man uh, make the wood shapes in different design and styles by using force. So here are uh, the people using force to make bread, make pot and make the wood into different shapes. Okay. So force are uh, very important in our daily life. Okay, without force, we can't make things change the shapes. Okay, the next uh, we done uh, this activity during the class. Okay, uh, we have to just summarize that when you throw this uh, mud ball, okay, when you drop it from the one two, three, four, five, five cubes. So will it jump or not? Okay, so make the clay back into a ball and drop it again from a different height. Okay, and you have to observe how the shapes of the ball change. So simple guys, take the clay, okay, make a ball, okay, and throw from the five cubes. One, two, three, four, five. When you throw this clay ball from the five cubes, 
so will the shape change or not obviously the shape will change because this is the uh, this is clay ball okay so this will when it's push harder on the from the height from the five cube height it will change the shape what if if you throw this clay ball from the two cubes high it will change shape but it's very minor very small changes okay so you have to try what if if you throw from this cube what if yes the ball will change the shape so we use force okay so here are the forces if you throw from the seven cubes away so it will change the shape so try it at home and we also record our results if you throw the clay ball from two bricks one and two it will change like one okay centimeter small changes if you throw from four bricks it's gonna be two centimeter six bricks three centimeter eight bricks four centimeter so you have to count the height of the ball how your ball getting smaller and bigger okay the next thing we done okay uh, look at the picture look at the picture to see what to do this girl want to uh, stretch these books okay from different uh, cubes from sticky notes what she did she add uh, the sticky notes one two three four five she add uh, five sticky notes on the side of the table and she wanna stretch this book. So if he put zero book in the cart, okay, so it will be can be changed from one sticky note. Maybe your your the cart will be in the first sticky note. If you put one book in the cart, so maybe it can stretch two sticky notes if you put two books here in the card so it's going to be changed from the three sticky notes one two three what if if you put three books in the card so it can be changed one two three four four sticky notes if you put four books it can be five sticky notes so you have to look how much force uh, do it need to stretch the books, okay? So, look at the results, guys. Okay, the number of books, zero, three, one, two, and number of sticky notes like these, one, four, two, three. So, look the first question. Lola is wrong. Look at the results. Is Lola wrong? Can you see why? Because she didn't put the books in order and she didn't count the results in order, right? The results are not in order, right? She must put number in order. For example, if you want to put one book in the card, it should be one sticky note okay or two sticky notes right or she have to put in order first zero then one then two then three but she didn't care about the order so you have to put number in order zero one one two three four five six okay like that why is it good idea to add one book each time yes it's gonna be easy for you you can count the results very clearly the pattern is then easy to see okay so you have to check 
put one by one okay put the book one by one in the cart and check the results so here are here is the today's lesson you learn how the shape change by using force thank you so much guys for watching have a good day